guys right off the bat i'm going to apologize for the last couple of videos i seem to have hit some kind of fortnight slump but i'm working on getting my sh elf together i guess i've just decided that this is going to be a family friendly channel so let's see how long that lasts today's inktober prompt is demon this concludes the word association run we've been having since day 14. If you've been keeping track, it's gone. Castle, dagger, angel, demon. Did you see how I got there? I'm sure Hamlet was the missing link in my brain between castle and dagger. Then it must have gone Hamlet equals ghost equals angel. Opposite of angel, demon. Can someone out there please confirm or deny if this is a rational thought pattern? Because at this stage, I'm way beyond fearing for my sanity. If there is a sanity line, I'm so far past the line, can't even see the line. The line is a dot to me. Getting back on track, today we're heading off to Greece with the Acropolis Tangle Pattern by Joanna Quincy over at zenjo.uk. Linked in the description. The Acropolis Pattern is another string-based one which make very pretty borders or backgrounds. Start by drawing two sets of parallel lines. The tangle is going to sit inside the gap between them, so don't be too stingy. Now, float some half circles up to the top line, that being the bottom line of the top pair. Make sure that they are relatively evenly spaced, but don't get pedantic, just eyeball it. Now, make a dot about halfway between them on the bottom line, that being the top line of the bottom pair. Join the semicircle to the dot, with a curved line going in and then out to the dot on the other side of the semicircle, making little vuvuzelas. Put a mute in this pesky little horn. And there you have it. The rest is just decoration and embellishments. We've been having a run on these kinds of patterns lately, and I'm not the best at coming up with things to complete them, so maybe that's the cause of my funk of late. I like to tangle because the pattern is laid out for you, and you don't have to think. And while I consider myself to be a pretty creative person, I just haven't been able to master the art of switching from mindful meditative drawing to engaging the inventive lobe. Anyway, this is what I came up with. It's probably not the fanciest one out there, but it's what I've seen and enjoyed. Joanna came up with the name Zenjo as a combination of Zen and her name, but Upon researching it, she found that not only was it an actual word, but the meaning of perfect concentration, meditation, little by little, gradually, slowly, so perfectly describes the Zen tangling method that it seemed fated. Joanna has quite an interesting story about how she came to tangling that involves careers as a nurse, police officer, and national health services trainer. She understandably encountered many trauma victims and now teaches Zen tangling as part of the recovery process. Today's comment challenge will be to tell me if you got my earlier friends reference. We have another one of these stringy little fellows tomorrow, but it's gonna be a quirky one and I absolutely love quirky. 